Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you had an amazing week. Today, I have the beautiful Lynette. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna let Lynette introduce herself. Hi, I'm Lynette and I'm a part-time model and I'm a full-time micropigmentation technician and artist. Well, it's a pleasure that you are on my channel today. About two weeks ago, I did a shoot on three models and Lynette was one of them. And we created these like very soft glam with dewy skin, glass skin, almost doll-like. So the looks were very simple and glam yet looked very intense. So, you know, defined eyes, defined uh, lip shape, and uh, beautiful, flawless skin. So I want to recreate the look today on Lynette, and my goal is to also recreate it on the other two models. So we're going to start with you today. <laughs> Before we head into the makeup look, I'm going to introduce you guys to our sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. I'm always interested in the photography courses because they do help better my content. And Skillshare does offer some great classes such as the fundamentals of photo editing, understanding your DSLR camera, and even improve your iPhone photo editing. Premium memberships gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and fuel your creativity. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare today. Skillshare is giving away a free 2-month unlimited access to my subscribers who so click on the link in the description box. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, so I already pre-moisturized the skin using Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and Magic Eye Rescue. You guys probably know by now that these are my absolute favorite products to use for any look. For my primer today, I'm using the Dewy Skin Primer from Cover FX. And since Lynette told me that her skin is on the drier side, this product will definitely help hydrate and achieve that dewy glass skin finish. To add the extra glow with a golden sheen, I'm using the Brightening CC Serum from By Terry, and this is in the shade Immaculate Light. By Terry recently gifted me some of their best sellers, and I absolutely fell in love with this product. This product claims to use light reflecting technology to smooth the surface of your skin and reduce the appearance of imperfections and fine lines. And I do enjoy the hydration and glowy finish it gives. So you will see throughout the video that even with the foundation on top, the glow will definitely shine through. Now we're moving to some color correcting and I'm going to target the areas under the eyes and around the mouth. So for that, I'm going to use the Cover FX color correcting stick and this is in the shade Peach. This will help remove any light greenish to blue tints, especially around the mouth area, any dark circles under the eyes. And I really prefer this method because it helps even out everything before you apply your foundation. Today I want to show you guys how I do my full coverage foundation. So this is my version of a full coverage and I'm using the Ultra HD foundation palette from Makeup Forever and I'm going to use it for the entire face. So foundation, concealer, bronzer and contour all in one palette. And I personally prefer to use more than one shade for foundation just because it gives the face a more of a realistic kind of look and dimensions obviously, um, especially around the parameters. I always use three shades or two shades darker. And what I really love about this foundation that it's very creamy and very, very hydrating. If you have a hard time blending in your cream contour, one of the best tricks is to actually use your foundation brush. 
that still has a little bit of product in it. Uh, as you can see in this video, I actually used both the foundation brush and the same brush that I used for the glowy product from By Terry. And this helps your contour to look more like it's part of your skin rather than just something slapped on top. I'm only going to set the areas where I feel like the foundation is going to move the most. So under the eyes, the T-zone, around the smile lines, and nose area. To lock everything in, I'm using the Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. And uh, then we're gonna move into the hairstyling. I'm starting off the eye look using this cream shadow base from MAC and this was a limited edition palette, this is actually a pro palette. Uh, MAC does still sell these, not necessarily this shade, but it does sell other similar palettes like this. As you guys probably know by now, I love to start off my eye looks using a cream base and then I add my powder shadows on top. In the photo shoot, we did use some facelifts and I added two. So I wanted to recreate the same effect that I did for that day. To set the lids, I'm going to use this bronzy shade from the Icons palette and this is by Charlotte Tilbury. To add extra definition in the crease, I'm going to use the shade Sienna, and this is from the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia. This is a trick that I absolutely love when it comes to creating more of a feline effect to the eyes. I take a little bit of concealer or foundation that is similar to the skin tone. I will just clean up the edge and it will give the eyeshadow an instant kind of lift. In the photo shoot, I did add this kind of rosy pearly shade and this will help brighten the lids, especially in the front and also the inner corners of the eyes and it will give the bronzy shade a more of a gradient look so it will kind of look more golden in the front and then it fades into this gorgeous bronzy shade. For that natural flush of color, I'm using the Color Drop Serum Blushes and this is from M Cosmetics and these are in the shades Pink Nectar and Sunset Sky. I'm taking mostly Pink Nectar and I'm adding a tiny bit of Sunset Sky. You guys, I cannot tell you how much I love this product. This gives the cheeks this kind of youthful, healthy, plump look and it looks like it's part of your skin and definitely not something you applied on top. To add a tiny bit of contour and shadow, I'm taking the Filmstar Bronzing Glow from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just shading the nose a tiny bit and I'm adding the highlight in the cheeks, forehead, nose area and pretty much everywhere else.
Now I do want to add uh, a little bit more texture to the skin, so I'm going to use this freckle pen from Lime Crime, and I'm really surprised that I actually do really like this product. I just got it for fun, and uh, I tried it, and I was like, this is really, really nice, and it looks incredibly natural. To achieve that feathery brow look, I'm going to use a soap brow that I created. And there is actually a mini tutorial uh, on my Instagram TV on how I made it. So if you guys are interested, you can head there and check it out. So the trick to use it is to actually wet the soap a tiny bit. And then just take your spoolie, rub it a little bit with the soap, and start brushing your eyebrows. And wait about 10 seconds. And then take your fingers and just start to smooth this area. And this way you will kind of almost set it like a glue. Now I'm going for obviously the intense feathery look. So this is a personal taste. I'm taking the Bushy Brow Pens from Lime Crime. And I'm using it in two shades. I'm using the shade Brownie. And I'm also using the shade Smoky. So I'm using the brownie mostly in the front of the brow and I'm just using the smoky shade, which is a darker shade, just to add more definition and more hair strokes. I absolutely love this type of eyebrows. They make you look more dollish and more cute. That's my opinion. <laughs> I didn't want to overwhelm the look with a lot of lashes, so I did actually add individual lashes just at the outer corner to give a more of a natural flair. I paired this look with one of my favorite lipsticks, and this is by Miss Fame Beauty in the shade How's Your Head? On top, I did add some gloss, and this is by Lime Crime in the shade Double Daria. Obviously, we cannot have a finished look without this beautiful glow all over the shoulders. So I'm using a mixture of the Custom Enhancer Drops and the shade Celestial. And this is by CoverFX. And I'm also using the Nuke's Dry Oil and I'm mixing the two together and it will create this beautiful concoction. final look i really enjoyed doing this makeup on you lynette thank you so much for being here i really enjoyed it as well and thank you very much i love my makeup <laughs> thank you and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as well you can follow lynette i'm gonna leave her information down below and on the screen and don't forget to subscribe like this video if you want and i hope to see you on the next one take care